Hello folks, it's Sheesh from OnCyber, and today I'm going to be breaking down how to create and host a meeting in the metaverse. So our first step is going to be to head to oncyber.io in your browser, and in the top right hand corner, select World Builder. Now this is going to take us to the 3D studio, and because I've already got a gallery, this is what I can see, but if you're New to OnCyber, you'll be presented with these options. You can choose a few paths here, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you the easiest path. Select build with template. We're hosting a meeting, so host meetings. And there's tons of templates to choose from here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to pick OnCyber Studios. Okay, so now we are ready for step two. So I don't know about you all, but I don't really love standing up in meetings. And one of the great features in OnCyber is the ability to add sit zones, which are a nice touch because they prompt the user to sit down. So the way to do that is on the left hand side control panel, we have these three dots. Click that. And down here we have add interactivity zones and sit zones. So here's a sit zone. Here we go. We can move it around with these arrows. We can change the angle and the direction of these arrows um, indicate the way the user will be facing when they're sat down. So let's add another few of those. Um, there we go. So we now have our sit zones and before our very important meeting, another cool thing to add would be a media placeholder. This means that no matter what you're sharing, if it's an Excel spreadsheet or something you found on YouTube, you can share it in world in the same location without needing to move it, resize it every time. So to do that, we click the three dots, head to add interactivity zone and select screen sharing zone and find the perfect placement for your size and your space. So for us, let's just pop that there. And then once in preview mode, you can select broadcast from the control panel and instead of clicking custom placement, just select the screen that you have added. That means no matter what you're sharing, you know exactly where in world it will play every time. If you would like to keep your meeting private, it's a really good idea to set up a password. So to do that, we head to the navigation bar at the top, the customize world settings cogwheel. Now I've named this space, very important meeting description for work. And we need to head to access privacy here. Here we can enable this toggle, make your space private, head to password protection and enable. Now this password is way too easy. So I'm going to set it up with something a little bit more secure. And voila, we're ready to go and explore our meeting space. Now we're ready for our very important meeting. First things first, you can use this link all the way up here and share it with whoever you want to attend the meeting. But don't forget to also send them the password or they won't be able to get in. Luckily, it looks like we've already got some people who are ready to attend. So I'm going to show you how to share your screen using the media placeholder we placed earlier. At the bottom, you'll see this control panel. And if we hover over broadcast here, we can select screen and audio. And here we've got screen 16 by nine, which is what we placed. So that's what we're going to select. We have our big spreadsheet and we can share here along with the audio if we want to. But in this case, we don't need to. And here we have it 
a very important meeting. In a meeting room, people can use the text chat to communicate in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, or you can take advantage of spatial audio. Anyone can request to speak and you as the host can approve or deny those requests. The requests will pop up in the top right-hand corner and you'll be able to approve or deny there. Why host a meeting in the metaverse, you might ask? Well, when the meeting is over, you can throw down a dance party with your co-workers. (music) 